So let's talk about auto binding. Now auto binding is a little bit of a special bubble feature. Uh, in that previous video to update just the name and price, we had to do a lot of UI and workflow work for something very simple. Okay. Now what auto binding uh, lets us do is it, it lets us make changes to a thing automatically as the user modifies an input value. Okay, uh, the field itself acts as the current or initial value. There's no workflow, there's no new UI. You just tick a box and it just automatically modifies the value way faster, way easier. So let's look at a bit of a live demo of how it looks like, all right? So uh, we have our previous design. Now we had, this is the previous update, delete workflow. What if we expanded this and here we need place an input element directly. Okay. Instead of the name as a text element, we place the input element, uh, name auto bind. Now take this box, enable auto binding. What field are we modifying? We're modifying the name using this input element. We just wanted to modify the name. We place another, uh, thing here, uh, input, price auto field to modify price. Okay. Content format is a decimal. So now there's a little warning here. You want to modify this thing, but you have not configured privacy rules. So you do have to, uh, ensure that you configure privacy rules as to who can modify it, who can uh, restrict it. Privacy rules is a subject that needs its own special kind of section, advanced subject. Uh, but at the moment, let me just, uh, log in user uh, when current user is logged in i can allow auto binding on the name field and on the price field okay uh, and everyone else cannot even see this okay so let me just demonstrate privacy rules a little bit here uh, now if i run the tab uh, I'm currently logged in as Zubair at ASCII.com. I see amazing chips Two juice one juice one. Let's see. Let's say I say apple juice. The moment I click outside the entry in the database has been changed to apple juice. No new workflow. I can just double check in my app data, apple juice, uh, amazing chips and nuggets. So I didn't make a workflow. All I said was the auto bind conditions. The changes are just happening. Okay. Much easier than making a pop-up, making new workflows. Auto bind has its kind of speed and flexibility. Sometimes we do like the pop-up and the double confirm and the UX and everything. Uh, but sometimes auto bind works as well. Okay. Apple juice 10. Now, uh, we configured some privacy rules. So we have allowed logged in users to auto bind it, but we've disabled everyone else from even seeing the application, seeing the items itself. So what do I mean by that? So let's make a little button here and let's call it log out button. Okay. So start edit workflow, log the user out. Okay. Uh, now if I preview, I can click that workflow and it will log me out. So at the moment I'm logged in. If I'm logged out, uh, if let me refresh the page, I can't see anything. I can't see the items in the uh, database. The do a search just returns nothing. So this is just, the security has been enforced that I can't see anything be because of the privacy rules that I've now configured. Uh, I can configure it. You know what? Everyone else can view everything can find everything. Now, if I refresh the page, I'm still logged out. I'm not logged in. I'm still logged out. Okay. Uh, but I can see everything, but I have not ticked auto binding, allow auto binding. So if I try and make a change to this, sorry, you do not have permission to modify this and back. Okay. So everyone else can't do it. Logged in user can when current user is logged in can. Okay. Uh, or another way to show this is this items creator is this items uh, is current user. So if you have many users, the, the restaurant owner who created it is the one who can auto bind things. 
other people cannot auto bind it. So if I go to app data users and run as that user again, uh, I'll see the Zubair at Eskitech email. I'm logged in now and uh, now I can auto bind. Okay. And oops, sorry, if I log out, I can't auto bind. Sorry, no permission to modify this. I shouldn't even be able to see it, but that's it's just because the data is cached in the browser. If I refresh, it'll just disappear. Oh yeah, I tweaked the privacy rule. I was confused. Uh, everyone else can see it. No worries, no worries. Okay, so that's good for uh, an up demo for this video. Uh, of course, as we go further, we'll go deeper. All right, thank you very much. Bye.